Hi, Richo here from DA Australia. Uh, Powerbox has got some uh, new equipment out I'd like to show you, and it's uh, along the serial bus line. So they've got their own system now called Powerbus, which is essentially you can uh, have a lot of your servos working off one lead. Now, their new power boxes all have serial bus outlets now, and if Mark comes in, I can show you on this Champion, there's a few different things uh, that's worth taking note of. As you can see from this Champion, we're running up to eight servos here at the moment off one lead. It's a heavy duty lead. You can see they're coming out of MPX power bus ports here. Now, it has two ports, so we can actually run uh, two different voltages here. We can run 7.4 volt uh, or 5.9. Now, if you have a look through here, we, we have more going into this little junction box here, which is taking care of four servos, and then we can branch off to another junction box. Now, this one here is for taking care of servos that are not S-Bus compatible uh, or X-Bus compatible, but you're just your standard analog digital style servos and even your kill switch. So, what, what you can see operating here now is all these servos, these are S-Bus programmed ones going through this side, these are non SBUS servos here on this splitter here. These are all controlled and all set by these little buttons here. And it's quite easy to do. This took me a matter of about 15 minutes to set this whole system up. And as you can see here, I have both elevator functions going through here, two, up, two ailerons working on different servos, rudder on two different servos, and throttle. And also, you can run your kill switch off it. So part of the plan of this is to keep the wiring quite minimal, keep up the power requirements for the servos that you're utilising, and some of the things you can do is, you like for instance coming out of this, you can run one branch down to the front of the aircraft and run four different servos off of that, or even kill switch, smoke, throttle and choke, all running from one lead, keeps things nice and tidy. Now Powerbox are expanding this whole thing and you're going to see a lot more of this. So as you see off this, there's no more patch leads or leads going to um, to servos coming in through the top ports, even though you can still do this. Uh, this one runs a serial bus system where we have two uh, small S-Bus receivers. Uh, this can also run uh, another variation of uh, Spectrum and JR. You can also plug those in the bottom, depending on how you like to dress. Uh, that's up to yourself. Uh, Powerbox are more and more capable. There's, the items that are available uh, are all available now. There's different splitters, We've got splitters, we have different ones for uh, S-Bus, X-Bus compatible servos, and for your standard PWM style servos. There's a programmer here. They have leads in multiple variations from 300 uh, millimeters up to two meters. And if you like, you can also buy bulk lead and make your own leads up and solder it onto the MPX connections. It's a very interesting product. It's gonna change the way we set our aircraft up, particularly in large gas scale, uh, scale planes and also jets, etc. Excellent system. Have a look at it and see what you think. One thing I did forget to mention, uh, and it's a bit of a fundamental problem with either X-Bus or S-Bus systems. If you get a, 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 a servo in line that shorts out the signal wire, you've got a pretty good chance that all the servos connected on that line are going to stop working. Uh, for instance, if you short one of these servos out uh, on a standard S-Bus system, you could lose everything. The difference with the power box unit is each one of these is buffered independently, so you could lose one servo and it will not affect the rest of them. Now I've got an example for you here, we've got a lead that's shorted out uh, to the, the signal wire, we shorted out the signal wire, and you see, I put a Y lead on here, and the throttle servo is still working. Now we short out the signal on an S-Bus system or an X-Bus system that isn't power box, when we plug this in, you'll lose the lot. Now with this, we use, we've lost the throttle, but everything else is still working. Now we can actually short the wires between the positive and the negative and everything else continues to work as it should. This system is all individually buffered and Powerbox have gone to great lengths to make sure that when you lose a signal wire or you have a catastrophic failure on one servo connected to the, uh, to the signal line, you won't lose everything. Very clever. Mm -hmm.